Before we even start talking about golf clubs in today's review, we've got to review this weather in the UK and it really needs to warm up soon. So that's three shots hit with three different clubs, all of exactly the same loft, all from the same brand. I'll explain how they all differ as this review progresses. But what I did notice in the first three tee shots is that there wasn't any visible difference in ball flight or where I think they ended up down fairway. And those feelings were right in terms of what I thought off the tee. Those two balls have landed virtually side by side. And the other one, well, it was just this way a little bit. You'll notice the third ball I hit took a straighter line because I wasn't quite sure that I had enough distance to cover the corner of this dog leg. I clearly did. But ball flight and distance, I would say of all three, exactly the same. What are these clubs and why was I expecting something very different than those three shots at least? Right, so three more shots hit and on that occasion I did notice a visible difference in ball flight and also a little bit of, uh, I'm going to call it usability in terms of where I would be swayed already out of these uh, three different hybrids that are featured in today's video. They're from the QI10 range from TaylorMade they're very impressive in a number of ways. I'm going to start off with the way these things look because from a shelf appeal perspective, I feel like TaylorMade have just absolutely nailed it this year. Right the way throughout the set, the driver for me is a real standout product visually when you walk into any uh, retail golf outlet. The same goes for the fairway woods and now into the hybrids. They've got a really good aesthetic. Now I know that, that doesn't play a major part in performance, but it's nice to have something decent looking in the bag. But then we've got to look at how these all look at a dress. And that's where things get very different and where your decision making process will start. Now what you're looking at are four balls, three shots you've seen on camera. I'll explain what that one was very shortly. Is a really tight knit of golf balls on the fairway. Very little distance covering front to back and that'll be largely dependent on the quality of strike but essentially we found fairways which is really important they also traveled probably further than i would have expected them to have done these hybrids are all four hybrids they're all lofted at 22 degrees and they all absolutely fire off the club face they seem a real powerful hybrid for 22 degrees of loft and the only thing i noticed different there was the tour model which we'll have a look at now was definitely the lower ball flight, but we'll hit a few more balls obviously and find out if that continues to be the case. But that's pretty much what I would expect as well. The CG differs in each of these three models and right the way from that sort of max product, you're expecting the ball to go higher. The standard rescue would be a mid ball flight and then that tour model would be a lower penetrating piercing trajectory seen it on that one but will that continue throughout this test all i can say is they sound and feel superb and travel a lot further than i would expect them to right before we continue with the review i want to see golf club again and uh, the condition of this place is unreal for the, especially for the time of year even the flag sticks are just different gravy in terms of the quality of them but back to the review of the clubs and uh, i mentioned about profile now the profile of each of these is very very different and they're supposed for different handicaps and I think aimed at very different golfers but for me the key point I want to make is that irrelevant of who these might be aimed at in terms of their shape and profile you've got to like what you see sat behind the ball so you can see the tall model is almost uh, it's, it's as close as you'll get to an iron with a, a bit of bulk and mass on and then you go the opposite end to the sort of uh, max product and there's plenty of bulk on it. You've got to be confident at address. So I think that's the key decision making that you're going to uh, start your process with. What do you like behind the ball and what gives you the most confidence? Because at the end of the day, that is key. I've also got to compliment TaylorMade on just the quality of these head covers in this QI10 range because it's again so so good and you're spending top dollar and it should be. These three shots you're going to see me play now are in slow motion by the way let's just uh, clarify why that is. I just like to see the ball flight and I think it's a better comparison to see it that way rather than use shot tracer and it's not so we can analyze and critique my swing uh, faults but anyway back to the three ball flights not too dissimilar. 
And why that surprises me and why I'm leaning towards or greater surprise by one product out of these three is this tour model. It's not what I would expect in terms of ball flight, in terms of it's launching it a lot higher. It's very, very playable. And I'll be honest with you, it's the one that in the past I've steered away from because again, it's been suggested that it's not sort of aimed at my category of player. But I would think that this has become now, the way they've divided the face up in terms of that strong gray line against the black uh, gloss crown really looks like an iron and a dress. And it's the one that feels like that I'm not gonna hit it to the left-hand side of the fairway. The other two suggest there's a bit of perimeter weighting that's gonna help become an anti-slice product. This tour model doesn't. So it's the one that I've hit the straightest, but it's the one that in the past, like I said, I'm not overly keen on a sort of low penetrating ball flight. Certain ends of the bag, I want it, but not in a four hybrid. And this is a real versatile club to have in the bag. The tour model is surprising me greatly. They've got some weight shifted at the back end in this model. It's definitely doing a job. And yeah, I'm, the performance out of all three has been incredible but the tour model is really a standout performer so far. Well, that's the first time I've seen some kind of noticeable difference in uh, where the balls have finished on the fairway and also on ball flight. A point to mention, we probably highlighted it on screen already, but uh, the Max product is actually one degree weaker, so it's a 23 degree four hybrid. And that was definitely that highest ball, uh, ball flight launch wise there, and also the shortest traveling and it was the tour model that is down the fairway there that you can see in quite a bit longer than the others. But I've not really noticed a significant difference in ball flights, I've got to be honest with you, but I suppose, you know, in reality, uh, you can just see that tour model is just that little bit lower. But the big difference for me, yet again, with those shots off the fairway, was the fact that I've got so much more confidence in hitting that tour model, just kind of, all out, hit the damn thing. Don't worry too much about what the club head is gonna do because there's always that thing with rescues that I feel like I'm just holding off a little bit to stop that club face from closing down. That's what it feels like a little bit with the other two, whereas that tour model is an absolute revelation. And to be honest with you, it's been superb out here on the fairways. Um, yeah, unreal. I'm gonna leave it there, not a lot more to say. I've got, I've been using an interesting golf ball as well, which I'll just show you a quick look at. It's a new golf ball from TaylorMade. It's got some very strange colorings and markings on. Let me know what your thoughts of them are. What I can tell you in terms of performance is that they are very, very soft. As they would suggest, the feel out of them is really, really good. So there's an, another interesting addition to the TaylorMade lineup. We'll perhaps have a closer look at in the months ahead. But in terms of these three models, I love the fact that TaylorMade give you that option three very different hybrids again i'd like to see adjustability in all of them i think when you're paying sort of 260 270 for a hybrid i think you want adjustability so you can just make a few tweaks so that thing has always been something i've remained constant with i think it should be available in all of those models but there is a model there for you it's a case of do you need a new hybrid right now if you do these have got to be on the list right i'm done you can probably tell the sun has come out. It looks incredible now at Wallasey Golf Club. As ever, thanks to them for having us, and I'll see you all soon.